My name is Vinay Parameshwaran. I am the associate conductor of the Cleveland Orchestra. The orchestra is organized into four major sections. Strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Today, we're going to learn about string instruments. The string family is by far the largest family of the orchestra. In fact, in many cases, the strings make up over half the musicians on our stage. Who are the members of the string family? In the string family, we have the violins, the violas, the cellos, and the basses. We also include the harp in the string family. Of course, all these instruments have strings. The violin, viola, cello, and bass have similar shaped bodies. They each have a neck, a fingerboard, a bridge, and tuning pegs. How do string instruments make their sound? Sound waves happen when there is vibration. In order to make a sound on a string instrument, we have to get the strings to vibrate. Now we can do that either by plucking the string or by drawing a bow across the string. How are string instruments different? Well, string instruments vary in their size. The violins are the smallest instruments in the string family, and they have the thinnest strings. So therefore, they play the highest notes. The basses are the largest instrument in the string family. They have the thickest strings, and so they play the lowest notes. The harp has the greatest number of strings, 47 to be exact. And the strings range from very short to very long. The harp also has seven pedals in order to play so many different pitches. What is the special role of the string instruments in the orchestra? The strings are the singers of the orchestra because they can sing the most beautiful melodies. Think of the string family like a chorus. In a chorus, you have sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses. In the string family, the violins are the sopranos, the violas are the altos, the cellos are the tenors, and of course, the basses are the bass. The violins are melody makers. They are athletic, they can sing, they can also be a bit of a show off. The violas are thoughtful old souls. They have a rich sound, and in many cases, they are the harmony makers in the orchestra. The cellos are fun and friendly, and they can also be dramatic singers. The basses are cool and laid back, and they are also the foundation of the string family. The harp, with its 47 strings and beautiful sound, is the heavenly voice in the orchestra. all these string instruments come together as we listen to Pyotr Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings.
In upcoming episodes, we will explore each of these instrument families one by one. We will learn about the different instruments in each family, how they are alike, how they are different, how they make their sound, and all the special things that they can do in the orchestra. Come join me on this journey. <laughs>